Here we see a cross section of the southern ocean. Latitude is across the bottom with high latitudes near the south pole and lower latitudes moving towards the equator. Depth is shown on the left side so that we can look within the water column. Recall that the ocean is stratified, with colder, denser water along the bottom separating itself from layers with increasingly less dense water towards the surface. The densest bottom water is called Antarctic bottom water. The deep water above this that travels from the northern Atlantic is called North Atlantic deep water. There is more deep water above this called upper circumpolar deep water. In between the surface waters and the depths is the Antarctic intermediate water. Finally, the surface water in the subantarctic is called subantarctic mode water. The deep waters rise to the surface and upwell along the coast of Antarctica, driven by strong winds in this region that push the surface waters. Once in the colder, less salty Antarctic, this now dense water sinks down to join the Antarctic bottom water, forming the lower cell. The rest of the water is pulled northward with the currents, forming the upper cell. The heat and salinity loss and subsequent density gain along Antarctica influence much of this circulation process in the Southern Ocean.